up guys it's time to see something about potential energy we've seen kinetic energy and as kinetic energy potential energy is about content energies <clears throat> we have many types but right now I just want to show you two and actually we're going to be using a little bit more this one than this one here the first one is about the potential energy due to a gravitational field what is that? Probably you know that height, you need to, if you're at a rest, this is zero meters and this is 10 meters, this is, I don't know, a mountain, you know that you need energy to get from the bottom to the top. And when you're to the top, you know that it's pretty easy to go down because of gravity. Gravity is going to work or give you work, help you with the work to do that. The second one is the one <coughs> We will be using, for example, with springs like this, <clears throat> this little coil. If you do this, you know that the force is going here and here. And if you have something lighter than your hand, it will go here. And this here, we're not going to analyze that, but if you had this bow and then you got a arrow, you know that you are adding potential energy with your muscles for your arm you're increasing the resistance on this string and if you drop or let it go it will go very very fast now what's the work to move one centimeter of a spring with a constant of this constant here and what do I mean with the constant is right here the constant and this is the displacement a half and this is to the square sorry guys so they ask us <coughs> What's the change of potential <coughs> energy? Okay, so let's do it. We need this equation because it's a spring. So it's half, which goes here. The k is the constant, is 0.1 newton per uh, square centimeter. And the change on displacement to the square. The change to displacement is 1 to the square will give you 1 square centimeters. And this will cancel with this. And it, you will be left with newton per centimeter oops actually you need to change this this is in centimeter let's say we have it in meters everything is in meters to simplify our calculations so meters and meters go and newton meter you know it's one you here perfect we got the change on potential energy or you could do well I don't recommend it that much but you could do do this by separate the potential energy at the beginning which will be k times x1 at the beginning and ap2 will be potential energy 2 at the end x2 and then we make this subtraction whatever the case you should get the difference because that will be the work needed to do that movement so guys, probably you want to see more exercises, more problems, questions, and answers. Uh, I got this problem section in my webpage. Go check it out. Here is chemicalengineeringguide.com. Go to courses and you will find this thermodynamic course. Click on it and check out this block, which is TD01 or TD1, which are the basic concepts of thermodynamics. I'm going to add some problems, basic problems, uh, they will help you to start understanding because you know that theory is perfect to know but if you apply it it's way better you even get better basis understand better you get the ideas faster you know when you get more theory you know where it's going to be applied etc so I totally recommend you I've got a lot of more material for this course so I will be pretty happy if you go and check out the course. And if you have any type of doubt, comment, doubt, uh, well, uh, anything, recommendation, go and check it out here. Uh, you can send me an email, contact at chemicalengineeringguy.com or like my Facebook page. I add many stuff. Actually, I got some blog stuff and some other funny post, uh, chemical engineering post, engineering in general, how to get the job, etc. And or go directly to my webpage and go to contact. I got 
a contact form or go to courses wherever you want and that's what's everything for this uh, video thank you for the attention and keep going with the videos guys see you in the next one what's up guys it's me chemical engineering guy so if you like the video why not push the like button it really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.